if you're a writer, if you're a young writer, if you're in college right now, if you're somebody who is working a full-time job and you know that's not for you, I, I want to write. Mm -hmm. is, there, is there room for me? You know? Absolutely, but I would say there's more opportunity. There's always room. There's more opportunity for you in the mobile space. That's what I would say right now. I would be like, figure out, you know, you know, how to go right for the next great content app, right? That's going to give um, or, or serve the audience that is looking for content in your particular genre, right? I think that the voices that we have online, I feel like with the, um, with social media and the way that we consume content now, there is a focus not so much on bigger brands, but on individual brands, right? So your voice, in essence, can be heard um, even more just uh, for on a personal level, right? We follow now, when you think about who you follow on social media, we don't necessarily follow the brands. We follow the people who make the brands. So we follow the tastemakers and the leaders um, in the culture. And I think that's a big statement to just even what built the source back then, right? Like before I started working at the source, um, of course, the brand was bigger, but I knew who the writers were. I could name the writers and the articles and the articles I read because I would look at the bylines. And that's what we're seeing now. Like you're seeing all this content and you know who owns the content. You know the content that you like to follow. And um, the brand is just a platform for, you know, distribution, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's, you know, title, whether, you know, it's, um, you know, a network like BET or, you know, a, a brand like XXL or Source. Yeah, but you, you still want to hear from the voices who make that, you know, the authorities on the culture. So I would say there's always that opportunity for writing just because it's not in print. Um, or that you can touch and hold it, like, you know, I'll say this, right? Like, I had this project, remember this? Yes, I do, absolutely. I had this this uh, project that I was kind of going through some of my old articles, and uh, that's a big story for me, that Foxy Brown, because mm -hmm. that, was, that was the first cover story I wrote, right? Um, is this it? Yeah, it's not... She's not on the cover, but because you get a cover line at the time, that was considered like, it's like a cover story, right? It's like one of the big features, yep. And so this, this, this article here was a big sort of thing for me because I got a, a cover line and it was the first one I got. I can't find it right now, but again, see how thick it was back then? The content is still there, right? You can, it's not gonna be the same type of, article with all of this look she even had a poster <laughs> that's funny right yes it is yeah so that article was big for me back then this is like before I, this was january 99 before i had my job at the source so mm -hmm. you know do i still want to read that article as um you know someone who loves hip-hop and consumes content absolutely but do i want to hold it in my hand and flip through it you know, are the younger generation, there's, they're not used to this. They're used to, they just pull up their mobile phone and, you know, go into whatever app they have. So it's just a different time, but the, the voices are still there. It is, but the opportunity you're saying, if you are writing, there is opportunity still out there for you. Right. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.